This video is a demonstration of the HEM TM10256 thermal imager. We utilize this in the woods on several occasions. On this occasion, it was a few days after a new moon, so it was almost pitch black. And it's amazing the difference between a thermal imager and an infrared device. Infrared also on nights like this, you need to use an illuminator, which will illuminate the area with infrared. And I don't know if some of these animals can see infrared or not. However, the thermal imager is very passive. It only receives information and converts it into thermal information, such as the video that we're seeing here. Here are a few deer that we came up upon. They know something is up, but they're not sure what. I will also demonstrate different modes of the thermal imager. You'll see them here in a second. This is black hot. The hot areas come up as black. This is fusion. You can see the outer area is a little bit different. And then red hot, where the hottest area is red. And my favorite is white hot, where it's, oh, by the way, this is one, 2x, 4x. And 8x. My favorite, of course, is 1x and 2x. You can identify the animal a lot easier than you can when you zoom in. Getting back to the white hot, the white hot is my favorite because it makes the animals pop relative to the background. So uh, the contrast is much higher. I actually started walking up towards the deer at this point. You can see the shakiness of the video. They're looking at me, but they they're, but they're still don't know what I am. And there they go. We also spotted these animals approximately 40 yards into the into the woods off the road. Do you know what they are? I also keep an eye on what else is around us, not being totally distracted by the animals that we know are there. Obviously, these are not what we're looking for. But the thermal imager, I think you can agree, it's a very powerful device. We would have never seen this with infrared. Now this pig, we spotted approximately 50 to 65 yards away. And we walked our way up to him. We got within 15 to 20 yards away from him. And that was just us, unskilled, walking in, in the dark, basically. And if we can do that, what could a wood ape do? I hope you enjoyed this video. It's pretty rough around the edges, but I wanted to demonstrate the power of the thermal imaging. And good luck, good luck with your search.